Hello friends, my name is Kapil and today we are going to talk about how you can use checkboxes in Excel. This is one of the fantastic trick if you know this and uh, it can be used in dynamic reporting and you can create awesome checklist also you can impress your colleagues with this trick okay so let's talk about that but before i start talking about this i want to request please subscribe my youtube channel and click on blow bell icon to get the notifications let's get started so on my screen if you see that i have these task list okay like i want to travel somewhere and uh, i want to do these things like tickets booking hotel booking printing tickets then my shoes packing and then clothes packing and to do this what i need to do i need to understand that i want to create a checklist okay so what you need to do you need to go to this developer tab and if you don't see this okay you can click on any menu just right click on the menu and you will see this customize the ribbon okay so once you see this click on this you will be seeing one window that will look like this and what do you need to do you need to select this main tabs and here if this developer tab is unchecked then you need to check the box once you do that you need to just click ok and once you do that you'll be seeing the developer tab this tab basically used when you want to create some kind of macros or some kind of vba coding you want to do and you want to create some awesome forms okay so you can use this developer tab now let's use the checkbox so once you click on this insert okay this falls under controls and once you click on this you will be seeing form controls and active x controls i would always recommend you to use the form controls okay you will be seeing similar options in active x controls as well but in some computers because of some configuration this these active x controls are not gonna work if you are sharing this sheet to somebody if it is being displayed to you then you can use this else use the form controls let me click on this okay and once i click on that what i need to do i just need to draw the box in the cell so you just need to adjust the checkbox within the cell and once you do that it will look like this now what you need to do you don't want to see this checkbox one so right click on this go to edit text or what you can do you can directly click in the edit mode okay and just remove this checkbox and put something like done or you can put something else as well and just drag it from here once you drag it down okay it will look like this let me remove this one okay so you need to select the box and press delete once you do that that will be deleted now what you need to understand here that this particular checkbox is a object okay it is not it is just placed on the cell okay but it is not a part of cell so whenever you going to click on this done okay you are checking the box you are unchecking the box so these are the two activities which you will be doing now what i want to do i want to get the value first so what i need to do i need to right click on the box okay either click on properties or press control 1 or go to format control once you do that you will be seeing this control okay then there is a unchecked it means the status of the current box okay here you need to link the cell and in the cell link what you need to do you need to link with this c to cell okay so here i want the value let me click okay let's see what happens if i click on this you can see it is coming as true if i untick this then it is showing me false it means if my box is unchecked it will show me the value false if it is checked then it will show me the value true what you can do either you can keep this true or false value in the c column or what i can do i can keep this false in the b cell okay so how i can do that i just need to right click again go to format control and once i click on that you will be seeing this c2 and here i just need to change it to b2 cell click ok and let's see how i can click on this if i click on this i can see this too you have no need to worry because uh, you can see it is uh, messy now and how i can correct this i will be selecting the cell i will be going on home and i will be selecting the white font so that value will still exist in the b2 cell but it will disappear and it will not look that it is there 
Okay. So, that is how you are going to click on this. Now, what we need to do, we need to select all these checkboxes individually and then we need to do the same thing. Okay. The reason is because these checkboxes are not dynamic. Okay. It will not update the values for all the checkboxes. So, you need to do it manually. So, right click on this, press control one or go to format control. Here, you can press B3. Okay. And press OK. Right click again. Go to properties here or control one. Then you can press B4. Press OK. And same you need to do for this box as well. And press B5. Click OK. And then go back to this. Go back to this format control. And then press B6. Once you do that, you can see you are clicking on all the boxes. And it is showing me true false. And what I need to do, I need to select the column and change the font into white so that I will be seeing my boxes as done. And in the back end, the value is true. Okay. I can untick this. Now, what I wanted to do here, I want to strike through these cells if my task is done. And to do this, what I need to do, I just need to select my cell, go to condition formatting, go to new rule. Because my first cell is A2 cell, so I'll be using B2. So use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here you just put equal to B2. B2 consists of the true or false. That is why you don't need to put any arguments here. You just put B2. If it is true, go to format. And uh, here you go to font. And here you can see strike through. Just tick this box. Click OK. And you will be seeing the formatting here. The the text is strike through. Now let me click OK. And uh, it is applied on the ticket booking. And it should have been applied to all the cells because I have selected the cells like A2 to A6. Now the rule is applied from A2 to A6 and it will auto change the cell reference which is picking from B2. If you click on edit rule, here you can see B2 is not fixed. Okay, So it will be changing with the range from A column. Let me click OK here. Let me apply this. Let me click OK. And let me click done. You can see it has been striked through. If I click on this, you can see it is working and my all these tasks have been done. So that is how you can create an amazing checklist. That is example one. Now second example is you can use the checkboxes in formulas as well. I have already done all these things. Okay, what we have done in the previous example. Like if I click on include, okay, what I want to do, I want to create a dynamic reporting. And in that, what I want to do, I want to pull the list where I'm just ticking the box, okay. Like if I'm saying that I should include this item, okay, in my report. So I'll be clicking on this, clicking on this, clicking on these. These are the three items which I want to include. I will go here. I will put filter function here, okay. If you want to learn about filter function, what you can do, you can just go to my YouTube channel or you can just check the description section where I have mentioned the filter function video. You can watch this video. I have included many examples for that. Now here you see array. In the array, what you need to do, you need to select the array, then fix this, then press include. In the include, what you'll be doing, you'll be selecting the C to C1 to C7. Okay. The range should be same. Starting row and the end row should be same. Let me fix the C1 and C7. And then here I am going to give the criteria that equal to true. Then those value or those uh, array should be pulled. Okay. So let me click OK and I can see, I can see these items. If I take this, you can see tablets has been pulled. If I take only notepads, you can see notepad is coming here. So you can use checkboxes in your function as well. But if I untick all these, what will happen? It will show me the calculation error. In that case, what do you need to do? You need to put if error function and then value if error, you can just put blank. Okay. The reason is because you have not included anything. If something is not showing, Nothing is selected. Or what you can do, you can put something in inverted comma a message. Nothing is selected. Okay. So you can just use this one also. It is just a message. 
So if you take this, you can see it is coming like this. Hope you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Give a thumbs up to this video. And if you have any questions, please do ask in comment section. Thank you for watching this video.